guys, welcome back to Divine Times 2. I'm Ingrid. And today I want to show you what I am going to cook for dinner. I have here two and a half pounds of ground beef. I did um, brown it somewhat. I drained the liquid. And to chop it up, this is what I used. Okay, this is called a hamburger chopper. And I bought it at Walmart and it was very inexpensive. It was about $3.95. Okay, so I'm going to continue chopping the ground beef into smaller bits. Then when I'm done chopping, I'll show you what I'm doing next. Okay, I finished chopping up my ground beef. This little thing is amazing. If you don't have one, uh, I suggest you get one because it's very easy to chop up your ground beef into small bits. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do Throw some onions in. Stir it. Okay. Then green peppers. Love green peppers and beef. Love it. Mmm, it smells awesome already. I have here garlic. Stir that in. Now, I got inspired to make this dish uh, because of fall. I have made this before. I only make this dish during uh, fall. And my family loves it. But I don't make this every day. Only during fall. Once or twice. Alright, now my seasoning. I My seasonings, I have here salt, uh, thyme, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. And all the measurements, directions will be on... Uh, our Divine Times 2 blog and I'll put everything all the information to the blog on the description box down below it looks pretty already And I love this because it is a one pot meal. All right. Now I'm going to add a bag of peas and carrots. Fall inspired. Cranberries, dried cranberries. Love cranberries. Okay, potatoes. Pour. Some beef broth and I've added here a can of tomato sauce. All right, I am going to cook this at um, low, medium. I want the potatoes to cook thoroughly. 
and you'll know when this dish is done when the potatoes are soft. Right, about 50 minutes have passed. Remember, I'm cooking this at low medium. I am going to add a slurry of water and cornstarch. Okay, see how it thickened up? Mm. Okay, let that cook for another minute. And you can have any side dish you like with this dish. You can have cornbread, you can have biscuits, anything you like, a salad. Because you have your potatoes, you have your vegetables. You have your meat. You really don't need anything. It has everything already. All right, let me lower this. All right, I'm going to taste it. It has the potato, the carrots, the peas, some cranberries, okay, and the meat. Let's see how, how it turns out. Mm. It's delicious. And you can taste the tartness and at the same time, the sweetness of the cranberry. It's, it's the right amount of cranberries. So if you've never eaten cranberries in a dish like this, you should try it. I think that you will love it. My family loves it. Again, um, this was a fall inspired dish. I just thought of it like two years ago. And this is really, really delicious. So thank you for watching. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for subscribing to my new subscribers, my old subscribers. I hope you give this a try. Please let me know if you do, or if you have any other ideas to uh, other ingredients to add to this. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button so you won't miss out on any of our future videos. Stay kind, positive, and divine. See you next time. Love you. Bye.